Welcome to automation training again. In this video, we are going to learn box with the en function. So in each network, when we right click, you can see an option box with the en. With the help of this box with the en, many functions we can do. First is bit string function. Bit string function means logic functions. So we can able to use uh, this block as a AND gate. Suppose if you want R gate now, just uh, change the name O R R gate. If I give it as X O R X R gate, and N O T is not gate. So right now you can see the color is showing it what blue. So that means these are the functions are available. Instead of uh, these function, if I type in here as uh, NAND N A N D. You can see it showing in black color. That means uh, there is no function in that name. So right now I'm using not gate. So in OT. Since it is a not mix server, uh, if the input is on, output is off. If the input is off, output is on. So reverse it will function. So that's why only one input is showing. Suppose in here, if I type it as A and T and uh, automatically two inputs will come. So right now in here, I'll just give it as IN1, input one. So the type is Boolean. So in here, I'm giving the address as IX 4000.0. And this one is output. So right now, in online, already simulation mode is enabled. So login, online run mode. So right now, only one input uh, I'll turn into on. Control F7. You can see still the output is in off state. So when both input activate, output is on since it is and. If you're using R gate now, if any one input is activated, output will on. So these function we call it as bit string function in ABB. So in some PLC we call it as logic functions. So in here, instead of uh, and uh, right now, I'm giving it as ADD. That means addition. So these are numeric functions. Addition, subtraction means SUB. Multiplication means MUL. Division means DIV. MOD means modulus. So totally five functions they have given. So right now, if I put as ADD addition, right now we want to enter value. So the input we are already given is what? Boolean data type. So right now, what I'll do is I'll remove it. But you can see, since we removed in here, in the variable database, you can see still it is present. So manually, we have to delete in here also. So right now, I'm giving in here as value one. So right now, if it is an integer, though, value means the data type I have to choose integer. Suppose if you say real values, point values you are going to give now, give real. So real means 32 bit. So percentage empty 0 0.0. So in here, value two. So the type is real. Percentage empty 0 0.4. Real. 
percentage EMD 0.8. So online login, online run. So right now you can type the values. So I'm giving it as 45.8. 87.2 so when i press ctrl f7 you can see it's showing added value or maybe 87.9 you can see it's showing in decimal value since the data type is real for example right now the data type uh, instead of uh, real if i'm giving integer now So in here, EMW, we have to give since 16-bit. Uh, so right now, in here, I can able to give point value. But in here, if I try to give point now, it's showing syntax error. Since the data type we given is what? Word. So I have to give the round value, it will accept. So in ABB, in numeric function, this advantage we have. That is, one input you can choose as real, another input you can choose as integer, still it will work. But in other PLC, the block has been given as a integer or real. So either one data type only, it will submit. So this is arithmetic, arithmetic operator. Same way, we can use the box with en as compilator. So instead of addition, I can give the name as eq. That means equal to compilator. So we have six compilators. eq en E not equal G T greater than G E greater than equal L T less than L E less than or equal. So right now we are going to compare two values. So value one compared with value two. If the value one is equal to value two, then output will on. So in here, what we have to give is output so it should be boolean so we given a variable data type is boolean so the output we have to give so we are going to compare two values depend on that it will activate the output that means that condition is satisfied now output will on so value one equal to value two output is on if I given GT in here, then value 1 is greater than value 2, then output on. So right now, online, login, online, run mode. So value 2, that will be our set point. For example, the set point I given as 50. So in here, if I given 50 now, you can see the output is not on. Why? Because we are using compilator is greater than. If value 1 is greater than value 2, then only output will on. So, in value 1, if I given it is on. So, since uh, it is a real data type, it is triggering. Suppose this one also, if you choose an as uh, integer now, we can't give uh, 50.0. So, we have to give 51. Okay. So, these are the comparator. So, so far we have seen what? Bit string, that is logic functions. Then arithmetic functions that is math functions we have seen and now we have seen compilator so the next one is 
selection functions. So selection now. In here, I'm giving it as max maximum. Parallelly, I'll give another box with the year. Minimum, again, box with the year. Limit. Selection. So right now, maximum, that means uh, we are going to give two values. So already, you know, value we can give directly. Otherwise, with the help of variable, we can give. So right now, maybe in here I given directly 45. In here we given variable as... Uh, integer function percentage mw 0, 0.0 so the existing data I have array so we can use 0, 0.0 similarly in here so we want to see the value so integer percentage mw 0, 0.2 so now what happens now we have given two inputs in that which is the maximum value it will display that as a result output of this block so in here same way so i'm just given as uh, variable one and in here variable two it's already zero two we have used a 16 bit so in here mw 0 0.4 this is another result so percentage mw 0 0.6 So we are giving two values in that, which is the minimum value. It will show that as the output of this block. So that means we are selecting. So which one it should be? Depend on the smallest one, it will choose. And in here, limit. So limit means we are setting a range. That is 20 to 80. So the range I am set. So this is our input. So right now, input has been given. So if this input is within this range now, whatever input value we given, it will show as output. So if the value is 59, it will show 50. Suppose if the value was uh, more than 80 now, 80 is what? That is the maximum range. It will show 80 as output. Even though we given 100, it won't show 100 as output because the maximum range is what? 80 only. So it will push 80 as a output value in this block. Same goes for output. So minimum we given as what? 20. So if the value is uh, less than 20 also, it will uh, show. Still it will show 20. At runtime, more detail we'll see. And this is selection. So selection means in here we are using a switch. So already you know, either with the help of variable we can do or directly we can give. So right now, for example, right now directly I given two values in here. If the switch is off now, it will select this value as output. If the switch is on now, it will select this value as output. So it is selecting the value. So which it should display in this output. 
So right now in lo online login. Somewhere I made a mistake. Data type is wrong, it's showing. So where now, for this uh, variable, you can see in here, we given 16 bit address, but the data type is what, Boolean. So either I can change it in here. Otherwise we have to select this, select shift F2, you can change it. That is one option. Otherwise uh, you can change it in here. So online login. Online run. So right now you can see in this 0, 45. So the maximum value is showing us 45. Suppose in here I type some value. So what happened? This is the maximum value showing. So this one is what? Minimum. So we have two values in here. So in that which is the minimum value it will show. And this is limit. So limit means right now you can see the input is 0. But it's showing the result as what? 20. Because the minimum range itself what? 20. So right now in here I can set uh, if I given as uh, 25. It will show 25. Till 79. That is till 80 it will show whatever we are given. But if the value is more than 80. it will show 80 only. So this is very important function. So when we are using a control wall bundle, you are saying we want to open and close the wall within this percentage. Or the value we are giving, it should be within this range. It should not cross this uh, limit. Then we can go for this function. So selection, it is just like we have two set point. So depend on uh, range, you can choose it. So for that only they given the input. So for that the selection will be used. So right now the switch is off. So it's showing the first value as output. If the switch is activated now, it will show the second one as output. So these are the selection functions. Same way in box with the end, we have bit shift function. So in here, if I given us uh, yes, OL. L means rotate left. Argo R means rotate right. Yes, such L means shift left. Yes, such R means shift right. So these four are the bit shift functions. So in this, you can see it's asking three data. So this will be okay. I'll just choose shift left. So this will be our input value. So I'm just giving it as uh, integer. MW percentage MW 0 0.0. This will be our length. So this also integer. And this will be our output. So right now online login. So online run. First I'll give the length as two. 
now in input i given as 8 so right now it's showing as what 32 so how it's showing 32 now so right now for 8 what is the binary value is so we are using the data type as integer so integer means 16 bit so the value will be like this it will display So this is the binary value for 8. Similarly, for 32, the binary value will be 32. So right now, we are using what? Shift. Left. So due to that, what happened? Whatever input we given are 8. So that binary value from fourth bit it shifted to sixth bit since we given what shift left the length is two. so this is the working of shift function so right now in here instead of uh, direct supply if i'm using a switch because you may have doubt uh, that uh, instead of direct uh, if i keep on uh, on and off the supply what happens so log in. So we'll give two eight. So right now we'll activate the input. I'll off it again. I'll activate. So you can see it is shifting only once. Suppose if the input is a new one. If I given a new input now, then again it will change. Okay, so if you want to display the values in uh, binary now, that also we can see. So how we can see now, in the top it's showing the value now, right click, binary, you can able to see in binary form also. So you can see the value. So right now what I'll do is uh, in here, You can see rising edge detection. Rising edge detection means what? When the input is on, right now the continuous signal going on. So instead of continuous signal, I need just a single pulse. When the switches activate, I need a single pulse. For that only we using rising trigger. If it is uh, falling edge detection now, when the switch is on, nothing will happen. When the switch is off, it will pass a single pulse. So it's asking a name for the block. So I just given a name. So defaultly, it will show you your block name as a type. Simply give OK. So remember, always when you're using a function block, the top question mark will be what? Name for the block. Always the data type will be your block name. It will display. Simply give OK. So right now, I'll convert this one into decimal value. So it will be easy for us to see the change. So when I activate the switch, okay, the run is not given. Okay, right now I'll off it. Again, I'll on. Okay. So this block will work. Just a single uh, pulse if you give given also, it will work. But remember, when the input is keep on given a new value, then only the changes will take place. Because the input is same input now, it won't shift again and again. In some PLC, it will do, but in ABB, it won't work like that. So these are the bit shift functions. Same way, if you want a data type conversion, for example, right now the analog input I'm connected is, 0 to 10 volt. But already you know, the PLC will read 
the 0 to 10 volt in the form of 0 to 3, 3 to 6, uh, sorry, 3 to 7, 6, 7 as a resolution it will perform. It is a integer function, but I need to convert into real. So what you can do now, in the same box with the n, you can give type conversion. That is, right now you want to convert integer value into real. So, int underscore to underscore real. So, you can see it showing in blue color. So, that means the value I am going to type in here. So, no need of input. We will just uh, remove it. IN1. So, the data type will be what? Integer. So, I am going to convert that one into real. So, percentage MD. 0 0.2 because MW 0, 0 0.0 we have used so 0 as well as first channel will be used there so in here 2 so 2 means uh, second third fourth fifth will be used in four channels by combining those four channel you will get the 32 bit so now online login online run. so right now I am just given as 45 in here So it's showing same 45. But the thing is, right now, the data type of this one is what? You can see when we place itself. It has been changed into real. So that means the value we get is 45. Right now, we are using as for same 45, but the data type has been converted into real. So, like this, the type conversion, we can use it. Integer to real or real to integer. Or maybe a Boolean uh, value, you want to change into integer. So, Boolean, we are getting a 0, 1. So, that data type, if you want to change it, now you can change also. So, Boolean, B O O L underscore 2 underscore it so you can see so like that the data type we can change it so these are the type conversion functions so i hope you understood with the help of box with en what we can do so so many functions we can able to use it thank you